This is Joe Russinell with The Front Line with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. The Emergencies Act Inquiry Commission just ruled in favor of Justin Trudeau's use of emergency powers against the peaceful protests. Listen to me. Those who are capable of, capable of tyranny are also, also capable of perjury to sustain it. What took place in your country, in Canada, was an absolute and utter disgrace. It was raw power used against the very people who elected the officials to serve them. Canada must recapture the fervor and passion of the Freedom Convoy. You have to finish what you started, a true populist revolution. Don't give up. It's in your hands. Power is never given back to people. You have to take it. And you take it by being peaceful, by being persistent, and never, ever giving up. Reclaim the fervor and passion of the Freedom Convoy, and you'll get your country back. One year ago, we got to watch a landmark moment in Canadian history, the largest human rights protest Canada has ever seen, the most inspiring act of civil disobedience I have ever experienced, the Freedom Convoy. After two years of government tyranny, of lockdowns and travel bans, of curfews and stay-at-home orders, of government pitting families and friends against each other, of propaganda and psychological manipulation, brave Canadian truckers started a movement that would wake up a nation and inspire the world. Starting from the West and then the East, they made their way to Ottawa. The line of trucks and cars grew as they passed through each city and province. Patriotic Canadians gathered on highway overpasses, waving flags and raising homemade signs. Thirteen months ago, they began to arrive in Ottawa. The career politicians that walked the halls of Parliament were reminded that these buildings, this country, belong to us, 